Okay. So I was just on the video a little bit ago, right? And I said before, I mentioned about I didn't think Asia degree, in fact, packed her own bag. I felt like somebody else packed the bag for her. And they could have, in fact, tried to pack that bag as in a cover-up of themselves, right? But as I was standing here reading the list, something just, as I was talking, I'm sitting up here talking and talking and talking and not paying attention to anything as I'm going along, right? And I came out my mouth and said something that I didn't even pay attention to in relation to this. So, I'm like a young child. I said, there's two things to this. Either a young child could in fact have packed a bag. This was when this slipped out of my mouth and me not paying attention. I said, okay, usually if a young child packs something, they would in fact forget something. And that's when I mentioned socks, the very thing of which slipped out of my mouth, which made me look at this list and which socks are not on here, right? And I said, hold up, wait a minute. I had to pause because for a young child to pack a bag, see, you got two options here. Either Asia herself was told by somebody to pack the bag, and even if she was told by somebody to pack the bag, I don't think they would have told her to leave out her panties and her socks. Because remember, an individual that is thinking, or maybe if they're not thinking, would in fact tell you, because adults think differently than children, they would in fact remember that thing to tell the child to pack your panties and pack your socks, right? But say if an adult, something slipped their mind as in not thinking and they was to murder somebody and try to cover it, then that in fact individual, I don't know how I was thinking that. Like, wait a minute, I was sitting up here thinking and that completely came out my mouth like a child will forget certain things and I had to rewind the tape on the video before this that I ended up putting up. So I got to look into that deeper. A child will forget things, but a child more than likely would not in fact forget her panties and her socks, not at nine years old, I'm thinking. But nowhere on her clothing list is panties and socks included on this list. So did Asia in fact pack this bag? I still don't think that she packed this bag. I still think that somebody, somebody more than likely packed the bag as a cover-up and somehow something, somewhere where they forgot to put in the socks and the panties. Because see, even if, even if a murder, say something was to happen to Asia, say a murder or something like that, right? It just something is the the socks and the panties are completely missing off this list. Let's read the clothing. Let's read this back again. The clothing is favorite jeans. So I'm thinking possibly what blue jeans? Because it didn't say what type of jeans. They should have in fact said what type of jeans. It said favorite jeans with red side stripe, a long sleeve white nylon shirt, a red vest with black trim. So that's possibly one outfit black overalls with Tweety Bird, black and white sleeve shirt, and her basket uniform. And then it says other items included is a lime green Tweety Bird purse, black shoes, Asia's wallet, three family photos, and her house key. But yet and still, I question where, in fact, is her socks and where is her panties at? A young girl that knows she's running away and yet has made a habit to dress herself every single day up until the age of nine years old would, in fact, not really forget her own panties and socks. I say somebody, unless, say, she didn't really completely have clean laundry as in the panties and socks was somewhere in dirty clothes basket or something and haven't been washed or something like that and yet I still can't see that type of thing but once again where is her panties and socks 
that does not even make that don't even that i mean it shows the whole picture but it doesn't because let me see if i'm nine years old and i make it a habit to get dressed every day up until the age of nine years old and i possibly been wearing panties since what the age of two years old how do kids start wearing when they start wearing panties ain't it somewhere around the age of two years old they start wearing panties and yet this young individual is nine years old she's nine years old she knows that it's much more unlikely comfortable for her buttocks to be rubbing against panties as well as socks instead of it actually rubbing up against regular plain material as in your clothes little girls know those type of things i'm saying they're sensitive to the to the extreme fact of i don't want my butt and my privates rubbing up against my pants or my jeans or anything like that little girls know trust ask any little girl if she's going to walk around or go anywhere on vacation without her panties and sometimes even her socks because little girls are more sensitive more so than little boys in the room are not wanting that very thing see a little boy will walk around with say his little peony in his pants he could possibly get used to doing that thing even on vacation because he even little boys wear boxers and yet boxers hang loose like pants do but little girls like to feel the comfort of say their own underwear close to their body because that lets them know that that protects them as in hold them in the undergarment i'm saying panties is an undergarment and so for a young little girl to be wearing that for so many years say from the age of one two years up from the age of one to two years old up until the age of nine is to know she has a habit of putting those very things on as in panties as well as socks but in this i could see a young child i'm saying if she was to pack her own bag and even if she didn't i could see a young child more so forgetting her own socks quicker than i can see her not packing her own panties because remember to get used to wearing something on you close to you tight fit as in an undergarment is to know that it's always there it's always there up under your clothes and yet to forget to pack it it's to know something else is behind that so you gotta look at something deeper for what it is as in a story unfolding for a young girl to wear panties for all these many years and then not pack it in her clothing items of where she's going is to know somebody else could have in fact packed this bag in a room of covering up the cover up i'm thinking wouldn't you think that when you were a kid and say you forgot to put your panties on if you're a female see i myself i'm a time boy so right now i have on sports bras and yet sometimes i don't always wear them and i don't like how i feel not really wearing them it kind of bothers me because to get used to wearing this comfort thing or having a snugness knowing that you're in fact being protected underneath the sports bra it's a no one say in a sense you never want to go without it and so i'm thinking in the back of the mind of a young child why would she leave her panties at home if she's packing her bag that in itself don't add up because there's a comfort level in all that the comfort level is what i keep coming back to to leave home in the middle of the night is to say something at home is more than likely not comforting to you as in allowing you to settle be there so to take it upon yourself to go out the four walls of your house as in leaving is to know that you were in fact uncomfortable and yet that still doesn't seem like a possibility i'm saying as the individual that she was she doesn't seem like she was a type of person that held the mindset to leave out the four walls of her own house because remember this individual was in fact timid a timid individual will feel more likely that she's being followed by someone in the middle of the night as in the dark so to be a young timid individual is to say once again is that you like to be comforted and you like to be say within your own skin enough to not put yourself out of place even in the realm of your own environment say leaving home at night even past midnight 
to know that you're that type of individual is comfortable enough to know that you would in fact pack your own panties because remember all this once again is in fact about comfort isn't it i'm thinking to be comfortable enough to pack three photos and yet not pack panties is to in fact know that something in fact stands there in which the family is not telling you think i'm lying people think okay people think i'm telling you for a young girl to wear panties every single day and be nine years old wearing panties and socks and yet she can remember to pack family photos three of them and yet forget her very panties in which she been wearing for the past eight and a half going on nine years and forget her socks as well is to know that something in fact is at play there people got to stop see I'm so happy I took the time to get on this camera and film myself saying the very things of what I am saying in the realm of what I'm saying even when I get upset and angry over the fact of me seeing things in which people may or may not see even police themselves seeing or may not seeing you never know about them because they never speak out and say they just keep everything in their investigation but once again for a young girl to be nine years old and like to be in her comfort realm despite even if she was being abused or even not whatever was to play going on in that home is to still know that something is wrong why would a young girl take it upon herself to try to flee the house from a say abuse if there was possible abuse and take three photos and yet forget her panties as well as her socks that don't add up who does that sort of thing i'm saying I can't even see a young girl that was in her right mind to actually do that sort of thing. To know, to say, you know what, I'm going to pack my bag and run away from home if there's abuse going on and I'm going to take three photos, but on top of that I'm going to in fact forget my own panties as an underwear something that shields me in protection from say pee leaking or anything just that sort of thing keeps me clean, I'm saying panties. Because to wear a pair of clean panties is to know you're even safe underneath, as in not being taken advantage of, right? Not only that, you didn't even pack your socks. So I got a question this young child. If people want to say, well, this child packed her own stuff, then I got a question even that. You know what I'm saying? Because even this sort of thing is school. Uh, skewed as in the memory as in the memory process unloaded the whole thing is out of place this clothing and all this other stuff it doesn't gain any traction not with me looking at it no it doesn't you want to tell me a little girl been wearing panties for how long as well as socks and yet she goes fully bypass her panties and socks and goes for three family photos right in a house where she could possibly have been being abused not only that possibly physically or sexually abused one or the two but she's going to take it upon herself to pack family photos and not pack her panties and socks who does that unless the little girl was in fact being molested and say something happened in her house and somebody want to take it upon themselves to cover it by throwing the family photos in and then leaving her panties and socks out because sometimes DNA is in fact on little girl's panties in areas of where she's been molested. I'm saying, for a grown man to take it upon himself to say get on top of a young girl and sometimes even ejaculate somewhere on her, as in leaving matter, film matter, or residue or semen matter on any anywhere on her clothing, it's a neck know that very thing could in fact be found by police. Even in the search and found, if panties was found there wrapped. Because see, a lot of times a washer and dryer, I don't think, wash out semen completely. If a guy was to molest a young girl and, and say get off on her or even inside of her, right? And that matter clings to her underwear. I'm speaking on molestation. If somebody molested this girl, killed her, and then covered it. I'm thinking if the, if the DNA, say semen, was anywhere on that little girl's body and it came in touch as in close with her undergarments such as her panties i'm thinking if you wash that multiple times that in itself possibly wouldn't even wash out enough for even the police to detect it 
to detect it, which is why it's possibility that whoever packed the bag could have possibly left her panties out as well as her socks. There's a reason why this young individual's panties and socks are nowhere to be found in the bag. The more I start to look at this, see, I looked at this and I was like, man, me looking from afar away, when I first saw this Asia degree situation, I said, man, that is a mess. And I was just going to completely walk away. But time and time when I look at this, as in me keep being drawn back to it, I keep pulling out more information that I'm seeing with my own two eyes. Like, you know what? There's some more that don't look right. That don't even add up. You mean to tell me there's no panties nowhere on here? There's no socks on here? There's many of us that got nieces all around us. And if you tell them for a day you can't wear your panties, some of them, in fact, have a fit. Even if you say, go pack your bag, right? They may or may not forget one or the other, but they're not going to forget both of them. Because remember, children oftentimes have dresser drawers right am i right or am i wrong children oftentimes have dresser drawers and not just all their clothes being piled up in the closet as in on hangers so to have dresser drawers is to know you're possibly going to pack something right and yet oftentimes your panty and sock drawer oftentimes sits at the top of your dresser while everything else such as shirts and everything else sits underneath that very top drawer so if a young child had time enough to put it on her mind to plan and plot to leave as in run away get away in a getaway car to leave from family despite family photos being involved despite maybe possible abuse if a child is going to plan that she still knows she got a few days to remember certain things that she might in fact have missed out on right i'm saying if a child put put her bag together she would know if she was being sneaky right she would know by then there were certain things possibly that she could have forgotten even though despite I said a lot of times children when they're not really used to say packing their stuff and other people pack it for them there could be things that they could in fact leave out and yet to have a dresser and say that possible dresser has a top drawer in which panties and underwear sit above, say, the shirts and everything else underneath it, is to know that child might not have, in fact, forgotten those two items. Because remember, a dresser like that oftentimes sits at the top. I thought for years on end, the majority of people that have dresser drawers, as in dressers, your average man, woman, child, whoever in the house has dresser drawers, right? And yet to have a dresser drawer is to keep clothes, undergarments, and everything else. And usually at the top, the top drawer is usually panties and socks. And then you got shirts and everything else. Some people got their pants, depending on what type of pants. If they're too heavy, then sometimes people just tend to hang them up. But I'm thinking what child bypasses the very thing in which they wear because see even to go take a bath at night is to go say if, if a young child is being prepped to take baths at night right in the house you're told to take a bath at night is to also know you're going to in fact change your panties more than likely your socks as well this just doesn't this don't make sense because see for a child to be that old is to know she sees her panties and socks more than she sees her clothes is what I'm trying to say because even when she takes off her clothes and say go get in the bathtub she has to pull down her panties and take off her socks right so she let me see she takes a bath before she takes a bath she takes off her regular clothes. See, it, you got to understand the changing process as in taking clothes off multiple times a day. If a kid is going to get ready for bed, as in go take a bath, 
for possibly tomorrow, right? She's going to take a bath at, say, 8 before 8 o'clock or somewhere around 8 o'clock. If she's going to take a bath, that means that young girl done came home. In order to get in the bathtub, she has to fully undress, as in take off her clothes. She has to pull down her panties, underwear, the very garment of what I'm talking about. And then she has to take off her socks in order to meet that water, to get in it, to sit down in the bath water. But not only that, once she gets back out of that bath water, she has to dry herself off enough to be able to put on a new set of panties as well as a new set of socks. Because no mother is going to allow her child to sit in that fresh bath water and say put on the same pair of panties as well as socks. No mother is going to allow that. That's filth and dirtiness and that. And more than likely, no black mother is going to do that as an African-American. They don't believe in that type of thing unless they just filthy trashy. But therefore, the little girl has in fact met her own panties and socks twice. She, wait a minute, she met them twice because in order to get in the bathtub is to take off dirty panties and socks and then take a bath, get out of that bathtub, dry off, and put on a new set of panties and socks again. So she actually encountered panties and socks twice in that same moment. So to be that age and, and actually have experiment as, ex, as experience, I'm sorry, my words is mis, mixing up, for this young individual to have actually experienced being around her own undergarments twice is to show you something ass up in the missing piece. Because to, to take off your panties and then put them in the dirty clothes wherever they go and then put on some new fresh panties is to know you've been around them so much you can't even forget about them. You can't forget about them. To take off some panties and put on some new panties in the same night it's to know it's ingrained in your memory. So you can't never forget about that thing. And if you forget about, say, them panties, you'll more likely remember those socks. Because remember, a habit is formed. They say to form a habit usually takes 30 days to form a habit. And yet to be doing that very thing, and you're nine years old, going on to 10 years old in August or whenever her birthday was coming, it's to know and understand you've been doing that very thing for about nine years. Nine, almost nine and a half, something like that, right? But you've been doing it long enough to, mem to remember. How could a young girl have panties and, panties and socks on that many times in one night, every single night for so many years, and yet forget it right here on this list? That's an unsolved mystery in itself. Because, see, I can take it if they said the young girl actually packed a bag that night and was on the run. I can take that. But to tell me a young girl supposedly packed this bag and say over a matter of days as in planning it out, it's a no still in the back of her mind knows and understand as in senses panties and socks should be somewhere found along with the bag. And yet, for panties and socks to be nowhere to be found is to add up a measurement. It's to add up a measurement. Because, see, young children have a tendency to forget many things and yet to ingrain something so deep in the memory that she would go as far as taking her favorite jeans is to know that little girl, in fact, possibly had a favorite panties. Remember panties back in the day? They had Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I used to have panties like that. Many of us did. And remember, this was back in the 2000s. So to know that you are a girl that, in fact, wear panties, right? Your favorite, to have undergarments is to know somewhere in that played your favorite socks as well as your favorite panties. I, I see favorite jeans as one of the first things on the list and not nowhere do I see favorite panties or favorite socks because even young girls like very precious things such as very pretty socks. The little socks that have the little, what is it? 
I'm thinking if she if she packed her black shoes, those could possibly have been one of her pair of black favorite black sh black shoes, right? But still, on top of this, that little girl have had to had a pair of favorite panties, and if it's not favorite panties, a pair of favorite socks. Because little girls like that type of thing. That little girl Asia had bows and stuff she was wearing. So she was given the allowance to affect like little girly things like that, which can consider to be precious type of things. The type of things that will in fact marvel a little girl is in fact nice socks that have like the little ribbon on the side or something like that because to wear bows is to put something else with it as in sometimes even undergarments in the fashion of socks that have little uh, ribbons or something on them. Because she seemed like the type of individual with them putting bows and all that in her hair. And though she wasn't immaculate, as in a little girl that probably didn't really get into all that type of thing because they probably didn't really have all that type of money. Seeming her parents wasn't really of that status or really high class. And yet to be given a child the allowance to look like a cute little girl with bows and all this other stuff is to know once again she had to have socks like that type of socks that you see ribbons i had them when i was a little girl i remember how they looked. i didn't have them by choice my mom and my granny picked them out for me but to have that nowhere in the piece is to know that something is completely out of place i can't even believe i allowed this to bypass my eyes i wonder who and this is what i'm saying about having big picture thinking about thinking too much about the big picture too much is because you think so much about the big picture you don't even you let everything bypass your eyes feel what i'm saying a lot of people in society turn a blind eye but not only that more and more people that is trying to scope this out have i have yet to read that in fact her panties as well as socks is in fact missing from the list this is almost like a scoped out link a missing link because for me this is like a surprise meet your eyes I thought everything in the bag was there and this is another thing see this is another thing that that happens when say individuals say that they care but yet they don't care enough to put their family out there to say you know what we have a missing child and keep doing it over and over precisely because to not do that enough it's allowed things like this to go past your eyes. As in being wide enough to see with your own vision, collective vision. See, nowhere even on Reddit did I see, and any other places did I see, that people, they didn't even call out her underwear. They didn't even call out her socks. Because, see, I could see some individuals feeling some shame to not want to go there because that's a little bit too much say a grown man was on reddit and was thinking well where's the little girl's panties at? i could see him not wanting to call it out but then once again you know to know that there's panties is to possibly know on the other side that socks to go with it because socks goes with panties yes it do right and so if you don't want to call out that panties is missing you will in fact call out the very fact that socks is missing and yet for me to be a young individual a woman, in fact, is for me to look through and call that very thing out that is missing. The panties and the socks are missing as well as that young individual is missing. To have not a full, capable identity of, say, some panties and some socks is to know that something is fully wrong with this picture. It stands out completely beyond, beyond the senses as in the nose and all that. Why do you why why do you have a list and there are, there are family photos? There are three family photos and then on top of that there's no panties and no socks. I'm questioning. I love the question. I love to to hate to watch me enough it's possibly because I repeat enough because people don't pay attention enough and yet I got enough time on my hands just to pay attention and sit back and talk about it yes I do
I can stand and sit and stare at this list for days on end and say, you know what? A creeper is right around the corner as in possibly could have been a family member. Three family photos, but yet no socks and no pennies. So if I was a young girl with, say, the identity of just wanting to run, as I'm repeating again, I want to just escape this family because even in abuse stands terror. Terror. Yes, it does. Because for a young child to be harmed, harmed at the hands of a family member, say a mother or father or even a brother, could possibly pose a situation of her running into the night air and yet more than likely didn't happen. I sense and can feel that as well as other people that agree with me and yet they won't say. They're not going to say, so that's why I say that's why I say what I'm saying. And yet, why would you take it upon yourself to take photos of the very individuals who were possibly in fact abusing you? And yet not take your own thing which is close to you which can in fact protect you from that very own thing. See, many, many, um, many individuals don't know the science is even underneath molestation. For a young child to never go without her panties, as in even sleeping in the bed at night, or even being seen without her panties on, that type of stuff I'm saying, a little girl a lot of times will always, if she's being abused, as in sexually, more than likely she will always have her panties somewhere around because remember, that in a sense, a grown man will have to force those things down if he's going to take advantage of her. Which is why a little girl will have some fear as in never forgetting her panties. See what I'm saying? There's no way no little girl is going to be, you got to understand the psychology even in molestation. There's no way that a young girl is going to be possibly molested in that form, right? Form and fashion. And then just go without her panties. Because remember, her panties are in a sense her protection from anything that could try to invade her private space up underneath them. Those very things protect her. The undergarment. Yes. Which is why they possibly could be called an undergarment because they protect various things. And yet, for a child to once again try to endure molestation is to know the very panties could in fact, let me, let me think, the panties could in fact be like her shield. It could be her protection, although it could in fact remind her of say the possible molestation if a little girl was trying to run away from sexual abuse say if this is in fact the case if a little girl is trying to run away from sexual abuse she would in fact leave her panties at home possibly if you want to say if somebody was to try to do a stretch as in stretch to try to find out if that could be because say the panties would remind her of the memory of say the sexual things that possibly went on at night that nobody else knew about but once again she's not going to forget her socks she's not she ain't gonna forget her socks more than likely if she was being molested she would once again leave those family photos at home so once again it still don't add up it still don't add up because see to wear panties is to know somebody possibly might not be able to in fact avoid your uh they might not be able to, in fact, put themselves in your personal space as in your private area, your vaginal area, without, in fact, them forcing your panties down. So a little girl that's being molested, she know that's, in fact, her shield to prevent that. So she's going to cling on. I'm repeating, but I meant to say that before. She's going to, in fact, cling on to the very thing which protects her, which is, in fact, her undergarment, her panties. She is. That's psychology. If a grown man is taking advantage of me, I know that everywhere I go, I got to have some type of under, uh, under covering up under me to cover my front and my booty so that he can't really get there unless he really try to force him down. 
but I know I can be taken advantage of in any form by any other man if I don't wear my panties. I need to always have my panties somewhere near me. That's how a little girl would think if she's being molested. And yet to see that there's no panties nowhere involved in this picture as in the clothing list is to in fact know they weren't put there possibly on purpose. When I stare at this list, it's complete vacancy. As if nothing is there, as is a nobody's home. <laughs> it's sad and sick just to say. And the thing that made me, because see, the list when I was looking at this, and it's just so weird that my eyes caught that very thing here in April 2018, looking at this list, because see, the list, when it presented itself, and me reading and identifying what the list seemed so full until I just called out that very thing about there being no panties and no socks that's what is playing right now as a vacancy as nothing is completely there nothing is completely there That is off the hook. Because, see, I said before, to not have no panties is to not be able to read DNA on them panties. To not have a little girl's panties, as in the police and FBI and the search and find, to not have panties nowhere in a bag is to not be able to find a clue as in DNA matter, substances, a semen, or any of that. And then a half socks. That could in fact go in with footprints. And yet if they were clean socks, This, this whole thing is just so weird because say if she wore these clothes right say if the young girl let's just give an example which is untrue because I don't think she packed this bag a adult packed this bag let's get real but say if the young girl wore these clothes before where they said that she was going to spend the night over somebody's house and say and in fact if she did spend the night right if the young girl, in fact, spent the night over somebody's house, then that that could, in fact, say she spent the night over somebody's house and then she took the bag home and the bag was just filled of, say, worn clothes where you wear clothes, but then you don't wash them, but they fold it back in the bag. Some people have been known to do that, fold their dirty clothes back in the bag for whatever reason. I don't know. But then... In fact, then her panties could, in fact, be pulled out as well as her socks. But why would you want to pull out, say if these was dirty clothes and they weren't washed? In the bag, I'm saying, the bag that was found. If she went over somebody's house, say she spent the night days before and yet she never unpacked the bag, then say in a sense, given the example, what if these clothes were in fact dirty clothes? as well as her panties and her socks, right? Then I'm thinking, whoever house she was over last, the individual could have possibly days before pulled the panties out as well as, as well as the socks. And yet even that don't add up. Because I was trying to question if she spent the night over somebody's house days before and these is dirty clothes, Instead of them pulling out the socks and just the panties, they will pull out everything to wash these clothes if they were in fact dirty. So that could have not been the scenario. But if say if she was to spend the night over somebody's house and say even they was molesting her or something, that they would in fact pull out the panties 
and they too would possibly pull out the socks if they was dirty so to not tell where she been last as in walking around because when you got on your socks I'm saying dirty socks that have yet to be washed when you walk around in the house no matter who house it happens to pick up as an attraction as in the carpeting or even regular flooring that can tell where you was last in a sense if you spent the night days before over somebody's house and then you failed to wash all your clothes including your socks if somebody did something bad or molested you or something crazy like that over somebody's house like her family member or something like that they could possibly if they was to do something like this they could pull out her panties as well as her socks to prevent them being shown as in the DNA say sperm or even to prevent their socks gaining traction in all this I'm saying her socks gaining traction because if they spent the night over her house to try to put the, the pieces together as in where was she last seen say days before with these clothes possibly if they were anywhere outside the house say as an aunt and uncle is to know if she even wore the socks that's missing is to say that on them socks could have in fact carried the floor residue of the very individual house she was over days before and that's why they would possibly pull the socks out as well as the panties but I still don't think that played a part in it trust and believe police can find out where a child has been in a matter of days even in some socks but that don't this this whole clothing garment material and all this other stuff it no longer seems whole seeming i'm seeing that there is no panties and no socks here what is the reason for panties and socks being taken out on a list you tell me See, I also, I also stand in question of the little of her brother O'Brien. Is that his name? People, they don't want to question, but why not? You're just asking questions. You're not really standing saying, "Oh, I know O'Brien did it," or whoever family member. You're not, you're not really saying that. You're just questioning. Why wouldn't you? If it was your family member, <laughs> you. Would, I'm saying, if something was to happen around you, you will be questioning. Trust and believe, you will be questioning. Trust and believe that people, people say that type of stuff until something come about and then they say oh I gotta question this hold on but I'm gonna have to make a video about even her brother and question of him even on the night that the girl supposedly went missing because about that book bag that's a story all its own and I spoke on that could the pu could the brother have possibly walked down highway 89 or uh walk down highway 18 because see to know and understand that a brother and sister is not that far in age is to know they stand real close even in size even in the room of the eyes of the drive-by people driving past and keep going to be to be did i say eight nine i'm sorry not eight nine to be nine years old as well as have a brother that's a little bit older than you is to know and understand that y'all stand close in size as in stature as even possibly eyes making its way to possible eyewitnesses that claim to have seen you on the side of the road that might not have in fact been asia if her family has something to do with that you never know that might not have been in fact asia that could be a whole different story as in that could have in fact been her brother who knows because to possibly say kill somebody in the house or even kill somebody by accident or however these murders or whatever done happen accidents or possible abduction for stuff like that to play out is sometimes to never say because that even brings shame on the family and yet to cover it up sometimes it is to even get the brother involved as in him walking the street all alone in the middle of the night to make it seem like just in case somebody sees as in drive by 
just to make it seem like in case that it was in fact a child there. Because sometimes though people don't be out roaming in the middle of the night, sometimes people do. Remember, supposedly some people be getting off late at night from work, right? That's what they say. So there is individuals sometimes that roam late at night. You won't find me doing that. I'll pass. But to see as in a drive-by, as in just drive-by, rolling as in coasting, is to possibly see a child there and yet not Asia. Because a play a part in something like that, in fact, happened with the family, I'm saying, people that's questioning, to in fact be a member, as in a key member and all that, and putting whatever behind you which has in fact occurred as say possibly a murder or accidental murder or whatever happened that they try to say was an abduction it's for even a young son to play his part as in walking out at night with say a book bag because once again eyewitnesses supposedly said they seen a young child that looked like Asia and yet how could you really see in the rain did you really see bow ties? Remember, she wore her hair twisty or whatever, however she wore her hair in the pictures, right? But who's to say that was a young girl? That could have, in fact, been a young boy just playing his part as his mother and father, whoever told him to do, and to help in the cover-up. Because that sort of thing goes down, too. And yet the public really don't know too much about it unless you see it on TV. I've heard stuff like that where somebody get murdered by accident and then they got all these key players that got in on it. They put their lover in it. They put their child in it. They put their son in it. They put their daughter in it just to help in the cover up. Because the reason why I mention this is because the brother could have, in fact, been the one that buried the bag. That's what I'm trying to say. Because, see, to be... See, I can see, a, I can see if a murder happened by accident or even on purpose, say, to a young Asia degree... I could see some parents that try to do a cover-up if they did and send they own they now only surviving child out into the midnight I mean out into the night rain to help and cover with that as in helping to hide the bag helping to hide the bag and yet even that's a long walk as in long distance for even him to travel but yet once again to be in desperate measures as in getting rid of things is to take it all the way there instead of riding in the car because once again to be seen riding in the car is to sometimes be seen fled in the premises as in you know what somebody got out of the car they went up in some woods and that in itself looks suspicious enough for somebody to remember because remember all this played out on the same day so when that would have in fact hit the news if it was another person driving in the car they would have in fact seen a car sitting there taking something out in the woods and then the eyewitness would have came out later on and said that they seen somebody do that. So to prevent that sort of thing from happening sometimes is to possibly have a brother during a desperate time of need of trying to hide things, as in a bag being wrapped up. I could see a brother like do something like that. Yes, I can. If, he, if he's forced by his parents in order to help cover up and never say. See, I've seen, I've seen even posts where people were saying, do you think the brother know? Of course he possibly knows. Because the once again be a light sleeper is to hear everything going on in the house when you're trying to sleep at night as I'm laying and resting, right? And not only that, to possibly have something go down in the four walls of your house is to know you're going to one day wake up and know about it. Because even in the family, there go, there's going to be discussion. That sort of thing can only be hidden for so long before it starts to come out. I can't see a young boy that age just laying up at night and then say something happened as an unfolded and him not knowing about it. That sort of thing don't work like that. Even life itself don't work like that. Things have a way of releasing themselves out. Yes, they do. What is done in the dark soon enough comes to the light. That's the way life operates. Ask anybody you know, they'll tell you. What is done in secrecy sooner or later seeps its way it seeps its way out. That's how life operates. Think you're gonna keep a secret for so long for a lifetime and keep it hidden. One day it's going to come to the surface. That's how life just operates. 
if you want to blame somebody ask god or the universe and possibly blame god or the universe for that very thing as a secret seeping out but once again as i said before that's a long walk for say her brother to even take but yet once again to play a part in the cover-up is to know that possible thing could have happened instead of asia walking her way down that highway 18. I'm saying because to know that a murder could possibly be involved is to not let a car be seen in that same area or where police is going to have to check the very same day as in later on in the day. Remember, it was their anniversary. It was their anniversary as well as the day she went missing as well as Valentine's Day. So that is going to be the same day that they go looking for her on that same day. So why would they in fact take it upon themselves to drive a car down that way? More than likely who planted whatever they planted, they had to drive a distance in order to do that. They had to. Because somebody would have said they seen a car that night that was off to the side, just sitting there, even in the dark with no lights. That's what I'm trying to say. See, look at something and scope it out as to see it for what it is. Whoever did that had to be walking and not Asia. No, not Asia. Because all this planting and stuff was in too many different areas. As in set loose, as in not coming together enough to understand. That little girl did not do that. Somebody else who did all this had to in fact be walking. I would in fact, if I was a police, look more further into the brother as in him possibly playing a part that in itself could be a lead you never know because even for a brother to stand there witnessing the house what be going on is once again for him to never say and yet under desperate measures as if there's a death in the house or something like that is to force that young child to get on his feet as in walk out the house walk it down that bag wherever to where it needs to be uh unseen as in later found and have him wrap it in plastic bag have him wrap it in a plastic bag right and take it away from the house as in carry it away because who's going to put three photos once again in that bag and just leave three family photos in a bag if you're being abused asia degree more than likely wasn't on that highway that could have in fact been her brother once again Trust and believe people do all type of things in order to get rid of evidence up out of their house. That's what I'm trying to say. They do all type of things. Things that you wouldn't even think of. Crazy things as even sending their own child out on a highway, Highway 18, to take a bag away from the house so that them themselves, in fact, don't look suspicious. They could have, in fact, had the son dress up in all white himself. And then whatever with the clothing when he got home. You got to look deeper. When something don't look right, look deeper into it. Because if the eyewitnesses are in fact telling the truth that they saw a young child, then in fact that child could have in fact been there and yet not Asia. And yet once again to be a short stature as in that is to know there's another individual of almost that same stature. And no other once again is possibly her brother. Think smart. Think smart, not unwise. I'll make a video about that later. But once again, for panties and socks to be missing. Oh, and then I said about, when I said about the, the book bag, I said if she was killed in the house, the brother could have whatever put that bag there. You don't never know how the parents or whoever in, in relation to however this situation played out. You never know their mindset as in them possibly plan planned it as in packed the bag days before. And once again, to get rid of something, it's a possibly throw it away as in it possibly being found or not even found as in the unfound. As in them not possibly knowing that that is where that very bag was going to be found. You never know. See, people do all type of devious acts. And then once it's over, everybody is in question of what happened right. But to piece things together, once again, it's to sew it together. As in flesh it out, because everything about the whole situation is such a mess.
because I can see even if it's a desperate measure or say something like a murder actually happened and said it was on purpose or even if it was an accident, I can see a parent, in fact, uh, actually having that brother or whoever brother putting on, taking off the young girl's night wear that she had on that all white nightwear and actually making him wear it because remember i'm saying down the street to go hide the bag because remember to be that short in stature brother and sister is to be able to wear the same clothes as in the same size and then for him to come back home is to get rid of those very clothing as in the garments you gotta understand criminals they think so many type of ways right they do. You got if you've seen enough crime in the uh, crime investigation stories, you will know the very thing I'm speaking on. For me, when I look at the stories and I see how stuff play out, all I do is reverse it in my mind backwards, enough to try to solve something later on if it was to come. Because solving all this unsolved mystery is just thinking in reverse from the very beginning. That's why you, when you solve, you think in reverse. To help our police is to help them enough to look at things, find a better clue. Could the brother have walked out in the middle of the night himself and played as Asia along that highway to get rid of that bag? Because even himself played sports, didn't he? Which is why I talk, talked about the 50-yard line, and yet I don't think he played football. I thought he played just basketball. But then again, you never know. You never know. So to never fully know is to completely question and not get mad in other people as they question because that individual is fully outside of you. That's common sense. It is completely common sense for a person to look at something from afar and say, you know what, I'm going to question that because it's just a sad mess over there. That's human. So never really completely be pissed off in it. Because one day, you, we, can, we all could be sitting here, right? And another five, six years from now, or even ten years from now, the answer could come out of which that person said and what you got pissed over. It could come out then what you're going to do. You're going to stand there and just be looking crazy. What is going on online? I'm going to end this video out. I'll make another video about that later on about what I thought about walking like that, that whole thing of a child possibly walking his sister book bag down there for possibly his parents. You don't know. Oh, and the reason why I mention that is because once again, as I'm repeating, to repeat is to know. An individual, whoever did this, had to be walking in that environment at that time. They had to. Because the pull on the side of the road is to know you got to get out. And as you're getting out, other people will be more than likely able to see you as and identify you in the form of a license plate. And yet, for that to be nowhere to be found, as say as drivers was in fact driving along that night, even outside of them identifying what they saw them thinking it was a young child, is to know that people be driving on that night, I mean driving on that road, and possibly have on that night, as even that individual was planning the planting the very items in which they planted they had to do that thing without a car is what i'm trying to say and more than likely they did do it without a car that's what i'm trying to say so once again to see somebody in all white might not be the very individual who you think it is such as an asian degree because if there's children that stand even her height and yet they're told what to do and do it fully is to go and do that very thing you can't just park a car on the side of the road. That type of thing is will be tattletale on itself. Because, see, as somebody's driving past, they might take it upon themselves to stop, in fact. Yes, they will. The person might see a car on the side of the road or off somewhere kind of parked, even in the dark like that, and say, you know what, that's kind of weird that that car is parked like that, even though it's in a rural area, because cars have, in fact, been found park like that yes because it's more country than anything and yet 
to see a car that almost seemed out of scope for people that live in that environment and say you park your car in a in a in a way that say people is questioning it's for a person to take the time to get out their car and go look and say why is a car park right there despite it being a rural country because to park in certain type of ways in certain areas is to know you got somewhere to go or you're doing certain things and sometimes individuals that can drive past certain things like that is to see that type of detail as off and what they'll do is sometimes come back around like they did trying to see if that was Asia but they do those type of things too when they see a car that's parked there that kind of look like out of place because remember to travel in a rural place like that rural environment like that to travel on along that road as highway 18 is to know and see when certain cars are there and when they're not so to never see a car in a particular area and then just see it randomly early in the morning such as eyewitnesses said they possibly saw a child walking is to know something could in fact be going on but what which is to spring people's curiosity as in wanting to know People are nosy. That's what I'm saying. Somebody, if somebody, um, if somebody seen at a car, if they drove Highway 18 consistently and say a car was parked there somewhere along on the side to say drop a bag in the woods somewhere a little bit farther down or farther up or however it was found, nosy people sometimes even being out at that time and not seeing that car parked in that environment before they're nosy enough to be trying to look turn around look go look see to find out turn the lights off to look people do all type of things nosy people yes they do so to know you're going to put a bag like that and not be seen to know you're going to know you need to have your vehicle close by so you can get in it and drive away is to know that vehicle had to be parked off somewhere right that vehicle had to be parked off somewhere kind of in the undiscovered location to say that road because that's a public road so to not be seen on that off to not be seen from that from individuals driving on that public road is to drive that car somewhere where it can't be found as an unpronounced from the eyes off the side of the road somewhere and yet you still have to walk and yet I'm still surprised I am still, in fact, surprised that the police didn't even pick up footprint on even that in that shed or going into that shed. But once again, if it rained like that, like somebody said, that thing wouldn't be possible because the rain would, in fact, wash away everything, including the footprint. But yet and still, a car has to be you can't really just say, I'm going to go over here and dodge a bullet by, <laughs> that's crazy, dodge a bullet by going to put a bag somewhere that it could possibly be seen or possibly never be found and yet do it in a way that I myself can be seen as in detected. No, you're not going to do that with a car. You're going to probably park the car off somewhere where it can't be seen, which is why I question the walk as in the walking in it who did all this walking that's a lot of walking walking and getting around but i don't think i'm gonna end this video because it's getting long it's getting very long it's getting in long long oh. it's getting long let me tell you but we question i'm gonna make some more videos because i'm i'm trying to question how would an individual had took it upon himself to go park his car somewhere just so he can walk enough to go plant some items on top of planting a bag there's even walking in that hmm so in the meantime i want you to tell me what you think and feel M more people a lot of times i notice they're afraid to question why be afraid to question remember you only live once you do there's nothing wrong with questioning there's no guilt in questioning, is what I'm trying to say. See, people don't understand to elaborate on something is to 
is to understand as in to find out. There's no guilt in questioning. An individual is innocent to proven guilty. So even if you was to say, I think and believe that person or possibly multiple family members are in fact guilty, remember they're not guilty un until they're proven by a court of law. So there should be no fear in that because questioning. There's no guilt in questioning. That's basically it. Enough. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Like. Various things. Hopefully one day all of it will be found out. I'm hoping.